the American Civil War, which lasted from 1861 to 1865, was one of the most brutal conflicts in history. The Confederate States of America, a coalition of southern states that seceded from the United States, fought a losing battle against the Union Army. However, the Confederates' military ambitions did not end with the American Civil War. In fact, one Confederate veteran, Major General Patrick Cleburne, even fought in Ethiopia in the late 19th century. His story is a testament to the complexities of post-Civil War American history. Cleburne was a major general in the Confederate Army during the Civil War. He served in several major battles and became known for his tactical skill and bravery on the battlefield. After the war ended in 1865, Cleburne, like many other Confederate soldiers, was left with few prospects. He considered emigrating to Mexico, but eventually settled in Helena, Arkansas, where he worked as a planter. In 1874, Cleburne received a letter from a British journalist named Henry Morton Stanley. Stanley was famous for his exploration of Africa and was currently leading an expedition to Ethiopia. He invited Cleburne to join his expedition as a military advisor to the Ethiopian emperor, Johannes Ivy. Cleburne accepted Stanley's offer and traveled to Ethiopia. He arrived in the midst of a conflict between Ethiopia and Egypt. The Egyptian army, which was supported by the British, was attempting to conquer Ethiopia and bring it under its control. Johannes, meanwhile, was determined to defend Ethiopia's independence and had recruited a number of European mercenaries to aid him in the fight. Cleburne quickly realized that the Ethiopian army was ill-equipped and untrained. He suggested that the emperor recruit Confederate veterans who had experience in the Civil War. Johannes agreed and, with Cleburne's help, recruited a number of Confederate veterans to fight for Ethiopia. The Confederate veterans, known as the Cleburne Brigade, quickly distinguished themselves in battle. They fought alongside Ethiopian soldiers and European mercenaries and were instrumental in several key victories against the Egyptian army. Cleburne himself played a key role in the Battle of Gundit in 1875, where he led a daring charge against Egyptian forces. Despite the Cleburne Brigade's success, the conflict in Ethiopia eventually ended in a stalemate. Johannes Ivy was assassinated in 1889 and was succeeded by Menelik II who signed a peace treaty with the Egyptians. The Cleburne Brigade returned to the United States, where they were celebrated as heroes. Cleburne himself did not live to see the end of the conflict in Ethiopia. He died in battle against the modest forces in Sudan in 1882. Nevertheless, his legacy lived on. The Confederate veterans who fought in Ethiopia were hailed as heroes and were celebrated in the United States and in Ethiopia. Today, they are remembered as a unique chapter in American military history and a testament to the enduring ties between the United States and Ethiopia.